What's going on you guys? Charlie here from MA Performance and today we're out at AMS as you can see. Working on the Q60. Today what we're gonna be doing is installing the uh, fuel pumps, the fuel filter kit. But without further delay guys, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we're here with Ben today. He's doing all the installation stuff. We'll be with him tomorrow as well doing the downpipes. Nonetheless, let's get into it and hopefully you guys like the content today. All right, you guys, so we decided to take a quick little cut from the video to explain to you why it is that we ended up going with the parts that we did for the fueling system upgrade. Obviously from AMS, we went with the things that are all included in the RA500 package. And that would be, um, in terms of the fueling, it is the high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, and the flex fuel sensor so that you can run E85 or you know like a 91, 93 blend. We ended up going with additionally adding on the AMS Alpha fuel filter as well, just as an optional upgrade. It's not a whole lot of extra money. So we just thought for the extra bump while we're all in there messing around with the fueling stuff, let's add the fuel filter anyways. Probably a good preemptive measure to do, especially on a car with as many miles as this one. You need these fueling upgrades to essentially deliver enough fuel uh, for your car to be able to perform at the you know 500 horsepower range. So with that being said, again, you're gonna need to add the high pressure fuel pump, the low pressure fuel pump, uh, the flex fuel sensor. Optionally, you could add the uh, fuel filter by AMS as well. That's what we did, highly recommend it. All the links for that stuff are down in the description. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for today's video at AMS. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, we went with the flex fuel sensor, the fuel filter, the high pressure fuel pump, and the low pressure fuel pump as well. So we're gonna have all the fueling upgrades we need to be solid at the RA 500 wheel horsepower level. So super excited about that. Otherwise, if you guys are looking for any of the products we installed in this video, go ahead and check those links out in the description. We are doing our best to make sure that all of these products stay in stock for you guys so you don't have to wait to get them for your Q50 or your Q60. Now, uh, that's gonna end it for today's video. If you guys like this kind of content from us, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one where we get this car on the dyno finally. I'm so excited to show you guys what happened. We'll see you in that video. Peace.